you all are doing great welcome back to our youtube channel the engineering projects in this tutorial we will learn how to implement pulse width modulation with esp32 module pulse width modulation is used to control the amount of power delivered to a load by pulsating dc current and varying the on time of a digital pulse and that is true without causing any power losses the behavior of a pulse width modulated signal can be defined by these three properties first one is the duty cycle duty cycle is the ratio of on time to the off time and it is always represented in percentage next is the frequency which is the number of cycles per second and next is the resolution resolution defines the number of step a signal can have from zero to full power for example esp32 offers 16 bit resolution which means it can have maximum number of 2 raised to power 16 steps that is 65536 and if we consider the resolution at as 8 bit then the number of maximum steps will be 256 that is 2 raised to power 8 in esp32 we have 16 different pwm channels which can be used to control the speed of a dc motor and to control the fan speed and brightness of an led servo motor direction of rotation and position now let's have a look at the programming part open the arduino ide and paste this code into your arduino ide you can find the link for this code in the description so let's have a look at the code description now initially we, we are using this led channel 0 to generate a pwm output and we are setting the resolution for 8 bit so the maximum number of steps to reach the full power will be 0 to 255 or you can say 256 steps we are setting the frequency for 5000 hertz and initializing this duty cycle variable at 0 next we have this setup function inside the setup function we are initializing the serial communication at 115200 baud rate this led setup function is passing these three arguments which are the led channel that is 0 the frequency and resolution these are the properties of a pwm signal next led c attachment pin so here we are attaching the gpio pin which we are going to use to produce a pwm output signal to the pwm channel and here we are using the inbuilt led to control its brightness so inside this loop function we are using while loop and here the value of duty cycle will increase continuously until it reaches the maximum value that we have said that is 250 and the duty cycle will be printed on the serial monitor you can see the results over there similarly once it reaches at its maximum value that is 250 we have set and it will start decreasing till the minimum value that is zero so that's all about the code description now let's upload the code into esp32 development board make sure you have selected the right development board and com port The code is uploaded successfully. Open the serial monitor. Now from the output on the serial monitor, we can see that when the output of PWM pin reaches at the minimum value that is 0, it will again start increasing to the maximum value 
as per the code instruction that is 250 and once it reaches the maximum value it will start decreasing the brightness or the PWM output so yeah here we can see at this 250 again after reaching 250 it starts decreasing to the minimum value that is 0 we can see the similar results on this serial plotter for that go to tools and then serial plotter so here you can also see the duty cycle is nearly more than 240 that is 250 and here we can also these see this plus and minus signs where positive signs represent the increase in the duty cycle and the negative sign represent the decrease in the duty cycle with a frequency of 5000 hertz this is the esp32 development board so as per the code instruction we are controlling the brightness of this inbuilt led that is blue in color so it is visible that the brightness of led is increasing to the maximum value and then decreasing to the minimum so this concludes the tutorial we hope you found this of some help and also hope to see you soon with a new tutorial on esp32 till then goodbye